Hello everyone. Welcome to Linux administration course. Uh, we changed the course number from 321 to 221, but some of uh, the college uh, the guideline uh, still uses uh, 321. Doesn't really matter. We uh, still uh, learn about the Linux uh, operating systems concept and skill set. This is an online course, which means we will never meet face to face, but online only. Uh, which is okay because uh, the current the platform of your computing power is not only not necessarily on your hand not necessarily in front of you on the desk or on your top on your uh, laptop lap it should be online all right so presumably we can, you can, and also I can, and also uh, in part of my lecture, we, we will use a uh, remote uh, platform. Department has the Linux box running and serving uh, any uh, remote access. So when I am recording my lecture, I'm also uh, accessing uh, remotely. Not only that, even if I am uh, at college, even if I am in the lab, cybersecurity lab uh, of uh, our department, I'm not uh, directly sitting in front of uh, the server. Okay, that is a server. It is, it is not a, a workstation. Uh, Linux, uh, it is good operating systems uh, uh, serving all kinds of uh, electronic services. And this course is going to teach you how to administrate it. Okay, so uh, let's go uh, for that uh, purpose together. Uh, this is me, John Yoon, and my email address. But I do not want you to use this email address uh, if uh, what you want is related to this course. I want you to use email on Blackboard. All right? So Blackboard has uh, that email address. I have. Uh, a face-to-face -face office hours, Mondays, Monday morning and uh, Thursday afternoon. Or you can give me a call during this time, or any any any, any other uh, time that you can make. Uh, if we make an agreement, we can do that too, right? This is my office number. And also I have my cell number, those who wants to talk to me, starting with the texting, that is also very, very uh, prompt and, and promising. Another channel that we share, what we are doing, what you think, on this uh, blackboard. Okay, see Blackboard, if you do the Blackboard, this is a Blackboard. So you can come, uh, where is the 321? Here, 321. Click on that uh, 321. And this is our uh, Blackboard. So syllabus also available. If you click this, then you can see the syllabus. Okay, the same syllabus. Come back here. 
um, any course materials can be found here if you click uh, course material then there is a uh, currently one folder is open but, um, all the course materials and hands out are available here if you click this then you can see uh, all the materials right now uh, the first slide uh, is posted but my lecture the lecture that I am giving to you right now will appear will attach to the list of, of my uh, course materials okay so you will see uh, this around this time uh, probably uh, because you click this part this uh, one, one another item so that you or be able to see my lecture my, okay so come back here any assignments homework assignments will be posted below so all course materials are here in, in one uh, folder after that uh, homework assignments one two three four uh, listed so if you do not see those homeworks new homework here then uh, which means homework assignments is not yet posted any uh, emails related to this uh, homework or course work will be available here so that I can answer to you or you can ask me uh, any uh, technical questions As you post your uh, technical questions uh, in this email board, if I don't see it, if you <coughs> need uh, my answer uh, urgently, then you can text me to my uh, phone number. You can say, hey, uh, Professor Yoon, Dr. Yoon, um, I posted my question on blackboard email would you be able to take a look at then uh, as far as I have uh, computer access to blackboard uh, I can do that too um, okay so that is one um, but another one that, that we can do on this uh, uh, for this coursework is uh, another website which is uh, sitesecure.org so uh, let's go there this is our web server and usually this web server has a lot of uh, information uh, may be good to you, right? Um, we have a center. Center is designated by uh, National Security Agencies and uh, Department of Homeland Security. One of uh, the activities for this uh, center is the cyber skill competition. So each year we have a uh, competition uh, this is in this year right and then some of those students progress can be found like this and their uh, work is posted here okay for example not only that but uh, their um, videos. Hi, we're Mercy College students competing in the 2017 Cyber Skills Competition. My name is Chris, my name is James, and I'm Thomas. Our project is an attack on a car safety map system. We'll first capture data from the system, then we'll modify it in order to tell the system at low tire pressure so that 
We'll send back the spoof data to the TV mass sensor. And tell the car has a little car tire pressure. Here are the tools that we use to accomplish this. Yeah. And in fact, I have my demo also, right? Uh, you can see my demo. This guy, this guy is the target. Uh, like this. This the camera is so chasing uh, some of the objects. Something else comes, uh, the objects are already uh, trained, uh, already recognized. Right. It doesn't respond to any yeah, objects. But, comes to this, uh, then it but yeah, way. something trained already. Right. Okay. So, other than that, uh, the course material is here. Right, uh, IASP 505. These are the courses uh, done uh, semesters ago, so will be updated. This one's uh, done. Oh, this is not that one. Yeah, th 321 here. List of Linux distributions and short list of Linux distributions. Right, uh, IASP 321. By the way, uh, the Linux distributions. If you see, oh, click that, it's a lot of uh, Linux dis uh, dis distributions. How many distributions? Well, uh, hundreds of distributions available. Uh, one of them that we uh, are going to use is um, Ubuntu here. Right? So, yeah, some of the information about our Ubuntu. So uh, there's a distribution title and founder, maintainer, initial release year, current uh, stable version, security update, and so on and so forth. So the version that we have here uh, is maintained by Canonical, Canonical uh, Limited, the current version. This is the version that uh, this one was uh, written. 16.04. I think this is a similar to that. And standard release, nine months, and so on and so forth. Okay, this was uh, particularly um, year ago, right? Okay. So we have uh, two web servers running for this class, online class, right? Uh, I recommend you to come both of this website, but Blackboard website is uh, is a complete set. Anything. Although anything that is available uh, site secure, not directly from Blackboard, but still you can, you are able to see or traverse from the Blackboard. Okay? So Blackboard is uh, the entry point for this class, and Blackboard has a complete uh, guidelines. Uh, therefore, you do not miss as far as you come to Blackboard because I even if something um, uh, exclusively posted here sitesecure.org still I post that here so that uh, you can start from your Blackboard to this sitesecure.org so it is not really the problem uh, course description this is a mandatory for cybersecurity um, major. Why it is mandatory, of course, because cyber. Uh, I mean, uh, uh, Linux is is a, a, the one of uh, uh, the most and widely used uh, platform for services. Okay, it is not uh, just personal uh, amusement or personal development. But if you, anything that you want to 
share anything that you want to serve then you need to find out the robust uh, platform which is uh, Linux and also that this is uh, free uh, there is a similar um, operating systems well maintained uh, and also has a strong features sometimes uh, more useful features than Linux but it charges a lot from Oracle okay so called slides so many uh, federal organizations and and fortune uh, 500 companies um, use uh, Linux and Solaris once you you, you once you know uh, Linux commands administrative uh, missions then then you we can say you know almost all available uh, on Solaris Solaris is a uh, powerful but we do not use that uh, because it charged a lot and it is not really exclusive so Linux uh, and Solaris has the same core kernel um, software packages uh, NSA and, and, and the federal government strongly recommend us to teach Linux operating systems to cyber skill I mean cyber security majors and cyber security professionals so we cannot miss this this is a must uh, what uh, are we going to cover on this uh, Linux operating systems that will be um, given to you in a minute on our slide and slide uh, also posted already right so I wanted to read the course goal and learning outcomes all right meeting we are not going to meet uh, face to face but online all class materials however will be posted at blackboard sometimes uh, exclusively on the, our site secure.org for some reason um, if it is not allowed for example some video clips uh, it is rejected from YouTube then we post it post that on our server and some yeah some reasons okay some reason that I want to keep some materials uh, on our a manageable server then I will keep it uh, on our uh, sitesecure.org rather than blackboard but as I said even so I'll let you know uh, the things that posted on that uh, site secure for you to access on your blackboard so that you do not uh, miss at all textbooks uh, this is a textbook uh, highly uh, required the Linux command line this is a very good book I uh, strongly recommend you to use this book okay we, we follow this book uh, a lot okay requirements um, since we do not meet we do not provide you uh, any computing platform directly uh, you have to uh, prepare for yourself so that I chose something very very reasonable which is a raspberry raspberry pi okay strongly recommend when you buy a raspberry pi then you, you better to have SD cards which uh, any size uh, 16 gigabytes or, or above the size that I'm going to use is a 32 gigabyte okay which is uh, good 
So buy SD card, 32. And monitor, uh, because uh, this Raspberry Pi is, uh, is about, it's just very, very small, uh, smaller than uh, the size of your palm, uh, any other to palm. Anyone can grab it uh, and hide it uh, by your, your one hand. That's small. Which means uh, it has only the engine. It does not have a keyboard uh, provided. It does not have a monitor. But there is a, a ports so that you can USB ports. Uh, Raspberry Pi 3, Model 3 has four uh, USB port. So one for monitor. Monitor uh, maybe, oh, wait a minute. The monitor, I want you to have uh, uh, HDMI port. It has one HDMI port. It doesn't have a VJ uh, port. So one uh, HDMI. So if you have a home TV monitor, digital TV, that takes uh, HDMI signals, you can use it. Or if you have a, uh, one extra desktop monitor, you can hook it up there. Or you can buy it some extra portable 5 inch or 7 inch monitor this is also uh, good although the font and, and all uh, the size is very small um, so it is up to you keyboard it does not have uh, does not have a keyboard provided and mouse so you can uh, have a USB uh, port to connect it to keyboard and mouse if you have uh, wireless keyboard and, and mouse, you can do that too. Also, okay, you have uh, uh, Bluetooth uh, USB, one for mouse and one for keyboard uh, into USB ports, and you can uh, freely use your wireless keyboard and mouse as well. So that you have uh, two more uh, open USB ports. So sometimes if you want to uh, connect uh, extra Wi-Fi ant antenna, Wi-Fi antenna, you can use it one for that. If you have any other devices externally communicate, then also use uh, that port. Um, one of uh, my graduate course, uh, I am using all four ports. Okay, one for mouse, one for keyboard, one for external Wi-Fi antenna, and one for uh, hack RF. That is uh, another device uh, that can uh, capture the all wireless uh, radio frequencies. Um, from 20 uh, megabytes all the way up to 6 gigabytes which means uh, almost all uh, wireless signals can be captured okay but anyway uh, so so this is a, a little bit uh, powerful little bit little bit means uh, uh, because the size because of the si uh, small size uh, it does not have enough memory. Storage uh, may be enough, 64 gigabytes or 32 gigabytes if it is a Linux. Of course, uh, if we run uh, Windows operating systems, then uh, 64 gig is really insufficient, right? It needs uh, 500 gigabytes, something like that, for Windows. But Linux is a so efficient operating system. Not only that, it is so robust compared to and also secure uh, compared to Windows. So that is okay. But only problem is uh, the memory. Memory with the CPU, uh, very small, one gigabyte usually. So when I uh, do some uh, PG work, it uh, consumes almost well, 100 
memory 100 CPUs. So very, very slow, but still robust. Okay, if we wait a couple of days, then some uh, jobs uh, can be done. Couple of days? Wow, it is no good, right? Uh, for current uh, computing power expectation. But anyway, anyway, it works. It's not really uh, rejected. So I wanted to have this. I'm trying to use this uh, unless I access our department to, uh, server. Okay. Uh, with this, one beauty, one strength of using Raspberry Pi rather than uh, department to uh, the server is, is that department server, even if uh, you have an access so that you uh, enjoy, you do not have uh, uh, the super user privileges, which means you do not have a full uh, administrative capabilities, although I am going to teach you here, because you do not have that. It is once you have that, it is so dangerous to the server server that we have in our department. So we don't do that. But if you have this Raspberry Pi, then uh, you can s simply do it. If you crash yours, you can redo it. Uh, it doesn't really matter, right? It is the price for this. Say a Raspberry Pi itself uh, about fifty dollar. Keyboard and mouse, maybe if that is a wired keyboard and mouse maybe uh, another twenty dollars and yeah that's it uh, monitor if you want to buy five inch seven inch monitor then uh, that is another fifty dollars but uh, but I'm sure you have uh, other HDMI um, acceptable monitors at home so you can use it um, Small cost, but big benefit, particularly to the administration uh, skill sets. Okay, strongly recommend. And also we stick to this, try to do this. On another hand, uh, there's an online login to our uh, department server, okay, lab server. I'm going to uh, show to you uh, if I have time today, uh, and also, uh, I'll let you do how, okay? We need to have a VPN connection. Again, this is a VPN connection. Department has right now only uh, a VPN that is, uh, I mean, uh, license running on uh, Windows, not the uh, Mac. So, uh, when you get into, get into our server through VPN, you have a, a, a shell access so that you you can do something that you would like to do okay so what you can do here is a subset of what you could do on raspberry pi mac os user if you have a mac us user still mac os uh, has a, a command terminal so that you can use it uh, oh, uh, it's not really 100% uh, compatible with uh, the Ubuntu that we are using in both uh, here Raspberry Pi or uh, lab server but uh, almost some commands uh, not recognized here on uh, Mac OS but basic uh, commands are all uh, shared together. They are the common. So you can still uh, lose much. Uh, but I do not uh, recommend you to stay on Mac operating systems only. So this is the common. For everyone in my class, online class, uh, should have this Raspberry Pi 3. Okay? If you cannot, then you can log in our server as the way that I uh, will have uh, another time uh, to let you know how.
and Mac OS, we don't do much. So if you, if uh, there's any uh, Mac OS user who do not want to buy Raspberry Pi, who do not want to do Windows, Mac OS only, then uh, you will have limited uh, computing uh, resources. Okay. As I said, uh, basic commands, Linux commands, remains the same. So uh, a little bit different, but not uh, not much, not more than uh, if if they are different. Uh, I think uh, ten percent. If you still away from our mainstream, one or the other. Okay. Because this is online, uh, discussion is very, very important. Um, the first discussion that I already uh, posted for you to introduce yourself, right? So uh, that is a strong recommended by reading your uh, introduction. I am able to check your attendance. Okay. Uh, attendance uh, should be reported to college. Assignment uh, are posted on Blackboard, so you do not miss. Grading. Assignment 55%. So assignment is very, very important, right? 55%. Rest 45%. Um, the midterm and final, 20% each, and discussions, 5%. Discussions in our case, um, uh, we have here discussion of participation, right? That is it. Okay, so I wanted to read all others. Um, all the homework assignments should be uh, on Blackboard, okay? Some students send to me homework assignments here. I'm not going to grade. This is, this is official uh, emails. It's not class emails. Class emails, well, uh, not only that, uh, class homework assignments should be submitted uh, on t by the deadline. So if you do it uh, by the deadline, then you can see the Dropbox. Sometimes some student says, hey, Professor Yoon, uh, there's no uh, Dropbox, Dropbox is closed. Would you be able to open it? Uh, no, I do not open. Uh, but in that case, if you want to submit a latest uh, submission, then uh, I want you to submit uh, within Blackboard as an email attachment, okay? So email me within Blackboard uh, as an att attachment of your homework assignments. That means that is a late uh, submission, okay? Any question? Oh, right, you cannot ask a question. So if, if you have a question about syllabus, you can uh, email me within Blackboard. And if I think uh, your question is the question potentially from any students, then uh, my answer will be given to everybody, okay? So somebody initiates uh, beneficials uh, to everybody, which is not bad, right? When you send to me the, um, the text, this is a text subject, so IASP 321, and and whatever you want to do. Okay. All right. Course schedule. We'll start with the installation of a Raspberry Pi. So next week, uh, next week, next week, right? Uh, a week from today, uh, I'm going to give you how to do, how to install and how, how to install Raspberry Pi, how to install Ubuntu on Raspberry, Raspberry Pi, 
how to access uh, a Wi-Fi router, Wi-Fi uh, router. Uh, each one, each one has a. You have a Wi-Fi access, right? Uh, that is a basic assumption, uh, so that you we can set up. Uh, so Wi-Fi, your Raspberry Pi uh, receives uh, the internet signals. From third week, then we uh, start to learn uh, basic Linux commands and advanced uh, Linux commands and regular expression. Uh, what does this mean? Um, the example is this. A regular expression is that uh, if you want to search uh, email address, for example. Any email address from uh, web uh, web pages, okay? Say that you have a million web pages. I want to uh, extract an email address. Of course, you can do that manually, right? Uh, from 10 million uh, web pages. It takes uh, forever. But if you express uh, a certain format of an email, and if you uh, have a program, any software, any Linux program uh, uh, that can access um, uh, web pages, then that guy uh, scans scan through all the web content and they extract uh, any text that is formatted as uh, uh, an email. Okay. So how can we describe the format of the email? That's uh, that is a, a certain rule. It is called the regular expression. Okay. So not only that, uh, for example, if you want to do, hey, I want to uh, have any number uh, that is uh, uh, any any uh, social security number. Social security number has a uh, special format, right? Although we uh, some social security number does not have a dash, three digit dash, two digit number and four digits. There is a typical uh, format of a social security number. But let's forget about dashes. So nine digits. So can we find the nine numbers? Sometimes uh, there's some dashes properly. Three digit dash, two digit dash, four digits number. Then it is highly likely a social security number. So that uh, we can um, find it, or phone number, right? There is a uh, country number, uh, area code, and uh, uh, seven-digit numbers. Some country has eight-digit phone numbers. Some country has uh, area code that is uh, totally. Uh, designated to landline or wireless separately, right? If uh, the technology is not really sophisticated, algorithm that is an algorithmic issue. If there is this, uh, 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 intelligent algorithm, then they need to specify it uh, separately. But anyway, uh, our number uh, is really. Uh, uh, intelligent uh, algorithmic uh, uh, the phone numbers uh, numbering systems so that for example 914 area code we can tell we cannot tell if uh, that number is a wireless number I mean uh, cell number or landline number right uh, so our uh, switching systems are uh, intelligently and quickly 
identify which one and therefore uh, plan the path to reach uh, the cell, cell devices or uh, home uh, landlines. But anyway, that type of things is uh, regular expression. And we will have a midterm and final, as I said. And then we'll look at uh, backup management and login and user identification management, scripting uh, Linux, networks in Linux, scripting in Linux, or same thing, scripting in Linux. But anyway, they're all scripting, right? And, and the web uh, services in Linux. And the final examples. Okay. Uh, basically, this is... Uh, the syllabus. Any questions? Usually, if this if this is not online, then uh, it takes uh, so far uh, longer than an hour, maybe an hour and a half. So that oh, it's good time to take a break. All right. So rather than take a break, you take a break. Our video lecture will continue. Okay. So this is um, the lecture that I'm. Going to do okay. So what is Unix or Linux? There's a multitasking and multi-user operating systems developed in 1969 at uh, AT&T Bell Lab by Ken Toms and Dennis uh, Rich and Douglas McLaurie. Okay. After this, um, a lot of dis distributions available. System 5, Solaris, uh, SSE uh, Linux, Sun OS, uh, BSD, uh, UC Berkeley software dis distribution, free uh, BSD, NetBSD, OpenBSD, BS uh, BSDI, and all of your cell phones uh, also have uh, somehow Linux or uh, Unix components. Doesn't matter uh, whether you have an Android phone or iPhone, right? Uh, iPhone has uh, uh, its own uh, another distribution, which is called another uh, Unix distribution. It is called a um, uh, Mark. Mark. Okay, Mark is uh, was a very strong. Uh, Linux operating systems back in uh, 1990s when I was a student. All right. At that time, uh, only if you want to uh, learn Unix or Linux, then you need to have a Solaris box or Sun uh, Microsystems box. One workstation uh, costed if if you buy. So students do not buy usually. It's very expensive. One box, uh, it's at least ten thousand uh, dollars. If it is a, li a little powerful, then twenty thousand uh, dollars. If you have a Linux uh, classroom with uh, twenty uh, systems, how much? So expensive, right? So usually, uh, poor uh, institutions do not provide that much. There was a until 1990s, uh, I mean, uh, yeah, early 1990s, and after that, um, uh, Windows systems became popular and popular. So, and operating systems are not really uh, uh, well and widely uh, taught uh, in small colleges. So they they, they do not use. Uh, Linux operating systems much. Only the uh, Windows lab. Well, anyway, uh, Mark at that time um, uh, is the operating systems um, Steve Jobs uh, modified and borrowed from another distribution from Carnegie Mellon University. Uh, so Carnegie Mellon University has uh, their own um, the distribution of uh, Linux operating systems that was uh, used to, uh, by Steve Jobs and Steve Jobs so finally, I mean, that is modified all the way up to your uh, iPhone operating systems right now.
Linux is a, is a clone of, of Unix, developed in 1991 by that person. Okay. Inspired by a uh, replacement of uh, Minix. Linux uh, Minix becomes uh, Linux. Consists of uh, Linux kernel, GNU. What is GNU? GNU. If somebody says, what is GNU? Then you can say, GNU is not Unix. Okay, that's the definition of GNU. The definition of GNU it, uh, uses GNU. So it's a recursively, recursive definition, right? GNU, GNU means GNU is not Unix. So what is GNU? GNU is not Unix. And so on and so forth. Linux originally developed for 32 bit and ported to other architecture. So, for example, for uh, Raspberry Pi, has uh, a particular distribution called Ubuntu. Uh, it's so-called Ubuntu Mate. Okay. It's another distribution. Ubuntu is is uh, formal, formal and regular uh, Linux operating systems are uh, fully uh, designed for. Uh, desktop or laptop at least, right? Uh, uh, normal uh, computer. But Raspberry Pi is not a real normal computer. We call this uh, microcontroller. Controller, so we cannot install the regular Ubuntu. Rather, we use Ubuntu Mate. This one has almost all the same. Well, it's a subset of uh, regular Ubuntu. Just too good. So, as uh, our pro our class uh, uh, is progressed, uh, if uh, uh, any th particular things are not available from your Ubuntu Mate, then we'll go back to our department uh, server, okay, Ubuntu, uh, using uh, VPN, um, so that we will have a, a full spectrum of uh, Ubuntu capabilities. As I explained here, right? Microcontroller support, uh, there's Arduino, BeagleBones, Raspberry Pi, all uh, have uh, uh, Linux. Each one has its own Linux. For Raspberry Pi, uh, Black, Blackberry Pi? Uh, Raspberry Pi. Not Blackberry Pi, Raspberry Pi. Raspberry Pi has its own uh, operating systems. We call that a uh, Raspbian, right? This is uh, uh, similar to a Debian. Yeah, we'll, we'll look at that. Uh, over 300 Linux distributions available. Right. Red Hat, this is uh, one of the uh, uh, powerful ones, right? Um, it's still free, but uh, when you 
uh, install Red Hat and uh, if you want to receive a technical Red Hat version has uh, is well maintained so if you have if you want to take uh, the maintain maintenance technical maintenance then then you need to subs you have a subscription so part of uh, Red Hat is the CentOS our server has a CentOS remember that uh, SiteSecure.org uh, is running over CentOS um, Debian this is a uh, the extension of Debian is uh, uh, Raspbian, which is uh, um, on uh, Raspberry Pi and Ubuntu. The name comes from uh, South Africa, so Ubuntu, right? It's not really. Right? It's like it is. And uh, Linux, uh, Kali Linux. Uh, cyber security major will have uh, uh, Kali Linux um, uh, actively used in, uh, in in other classes right one of my graduate a few of my graduate classes also uh, use uh, Kali Linux Uh, Kali Linux also um, based uh, running based on uh, regular computing power, but yeah, for penetration testing and ethical hacking and uh, wireless hacking, something like that, right? Before the graduate course, we use this on our Raspberry Pi, which is handy, right? So a lot of restrictions, but we overcome that. Uh, so we are so happy to do that uh, for our uh, graduate courses. That is uh, something that I am teaching also. Uh, a lot of uh, oops. Oh, something missing here, but this is a distribution, right? I want to visit this so that you have this. Which uh, Linux distribution is better? Uh, well, each one is a different uh, pros and cons. Uh, but for this class, we are going to use Ubuntu. Um, Here is OR. You can do this, this. So sometimes we use department server. Some many times we use uh, uh, Ubuntu made on Raspberry Pi. Okay. If you want to access uh, our department to server, then you need to first to install a VPN, VPN software from Microsoft. And then configure it. I will let you know uh, login name and password so that you can come into our VPN. There, you need to have also uh, Ubuntu login and password so that you can get in our server. Okay, you need the two uh, credentials. Okay, so I'm going to uh, give you a, a short demo how to get into department server today, right? Uh, two ways of uh, uh, Linux setup for Mac users. Mac users, you can 
uh, use your Mac shell and and this uh, Ubuntu Ubuntu Mate. Ooh, another typo. M A T E. Ubuntu Mate on Raspberry Pi. This is for Mac user. And the for Windows user, you can do this or this or more. If you have uh, a virtual machine installed on your Windows systems, then you can install Ubuntu as one of the uh, guest operating systems. Then you will have all possible three uh, environment. Okay, so one or the other. Hopefully you have... Uh, so everyone can have this uh, oven to mate on Raspberry Pi. Okay, this is our common. Oh, and also this. This um, Mac users do not have this. So this is this is common. Okay, so I'll give you a demo. If you you can download it from, for example, checkpoint secure 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 remote not secure, secure, remote, and then download for Windows 10, okay, then, then there are many of those, so I want you to download, uh, yeah, E80.65, see if you download this then you will have uh, you need to launch that program uh, you cannot see on this windows but I'll show it to you next class this, I have two, oh, two terminals right now extended the terminals so in another terminal, there is an icon called the check, checkpoint uh, secure remote. Uh, so, so I can do uh, connect it to this kind of things comes. So this is. Uh, the site number and this is a username and password I'll let you know that right connect if you connect then this uh, pop-up windows comes up all right so your computer is in VPN, where our server is ready to serve. So you need to access it by using, we need to install this party also. So for example, if you want to download the party, then you can also access P-U-T-T-Y uh, download. So this is the same icon, right? So that is a www.porty.org. Click that, then I want you to download this. Download the party here, right? So, so you will have this if you uh, after that, if uh, you have this icon. I don't think you need to install. This is uh, uh, the image already. So if you simply 
double click it then you will have this this is the same as this right here uh, I'll let you know also why I say I let you know because uh, if I this is if I this is this will be posted uh, wait a minute uh, I'm not going to yeah, if this is posted on Ubuntu, then Ubuntu, Ubuntu, no, not Ubuntu, uh, uh, YouTube, then it's publicly known, right? Then our system is known by anyone, then hacked in uh, quickly, which is uh, no good. So, uh, that's why I uh, hesitate to tell you right now. So, Ubuntu on Silo, click on, then we have a uh, login so that I can say uh, my name so you will have your login name and password this is my password so I get in right so so I have this let's say we have uh, uh, we had the, uh, the password and uh, login, uh, login for the last uh, uh, a year ago. Let me see if we still have that, right? So, sudo cat. No, we don't need to really sudo, right? Simply cat etc password. Yeah, so these are the students that was with us uh, last time up to this. No, not that. From here to just right below J. Yun. Right, those are the students that took uh, my course last year. But I, uh, uh, that their access to all expired. So I'm going to make this for you also. A lot of work <laughs> from my side. <laughs> right. We don't have uh, technicians to help this. But th this is, th I mean, creating uh, user ID properly, that is also. Uh, big uh, one of the responsive I mean big responsibilities of uh, Linux administration positions if you know this then uh, uh, you can get a little higher salary than uh, normal uh, IT uh, positions which is a lot higher than desktop uh, head desk positions but anyway this in this way you can do that and also if you do yeah change the directory so we'll see some of the files um, okay here network so Then we have some of the network configuration, right? CD interface D. Uh, right now uh, we do not. But uh, if you want to, if you if your server has uh, interface card that needs to be connected, not uh, IP but uh, uh, dynamic uh, host ID, then then you need to set up some configuration here. That kind of things will be uh, learned for your Raspberry Pi uh, to be connected to uh, multiple Wi-Fi's depending upon where you are, right? So network, this is about the network configuration, and and also uh, web com configuration, website configuration and all others.
uh, and also uh, application software package configuration. If you have Python, then how uh, Python is work, right? Uh, anyway, Ubuntu, all the Linux operating systems has uh, uh, Python by default uh, installed, so you don't not have to worry about. Python 3, if you say Python 3, then you will have uh, 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 the Python 3.5. If you simply type Python, then you will have a, a Python 2.7. So the difference between Py Python 2 and Python 3, uh, you probably you already learned from 131, right? You should learn the difference and why they are there. But anyway, uh, this course is not for programming, but a little bit of a scripting uh, uh, by learning a Linux command. Okay, I hope uh, you have a good weekend, and I will see you. I'll see you next week. Okay, so by that time, I wanted to prepare a Raspberry Pi. By the way, let me show it to you if you where you can buy a Raspberry Pi. Uh, one of the things that you can buy from uh, the internet is uh, Amazon.com. I'm not in favor of well, I'm in favor of, in, fa in favor of uh, Amazon, but uh, I'm not uh, selling you here, right? Res if you type Raspberry Pi. This is best to sell. Well, you can buy this or this. Um, make sure that you have. Uh, yeah. Yeah, this. This is good. Uh, can I kit Raspberry, Raspberry Pi 3? Why th this is good is because. Uh, there, there is a. Uh, you need to, you need to ins install this SD card uh, from your, for example, Windows, right? This is, uh, look at that. This is a, this is a Raspberry Pi, right? I mean the uh, SD card. Can you see this, uh, this part, uh, the uh, magnetic, magnetic pen? There's an SD card. That SD card needs to be uh, installed properly from your laptop. Windows, and that should be plugged in here. No, not here. Here, behind this. And uh, and you hook up this power for this, and these are the uh, USB. I mean HDMI, and these two uh, as a cooler. You need to place top of this. Uh, uh, circuit board. Okay, this is a heat up many times. So you have to plug that. You don't need uh, actually uh, this box, but if you want, you can place it in here. So this is a good version that I strongly recommend, as uh, somebody else recommended also. This is a best seller, right? Rather than this. Not because of this, but because of this. This is a uh, the imager, so disk imager, so you can make uh, uh, Ubuntu operating system image here. So when you plug that image SD card here and power, then automatically that uh, Windows system is, I mean the uh, the Ubuntu is is uh, up and running. Others. Uh, you can buy others separately, but uh, this one has uh, a little bit complete set. In addition to this, let me click this. In addition to this, let me see if this guy says, uh, oh, this guy doesn't say <laughs> frequently bought together. Uh, you definitely definitely need uh, monitor and mouse. No, no. Uh, keyboard and mouse. Keyboard and mouse needed. 
monitor you can use you can share with uh, your home uh, digital TV sets so like this and and then seven inch monitor this kinds of a monitor uh, it's very very dangerous uh, dangerous means the configuration is very very tricky okay so you may likely fail the one that I used with no problem uh, I'm not using uh, anyone together with the Raspberry Pi PAL and TSC, that is a TV uh, video uh, format. That works, this TV set works. So you can buy some. The one that I purchased. which does not have any problem so that you will be able to probably, probably not exactly the same right now but very similar to very similar to this That's good reputation. Yeah. So, monitor, uh, keyboard, mouse. Uh, yeah, basically, that is. If you want to do a wireless hack uh, from Kelly Linux on your Raspberry Pi, then you need to have an extra Wi Fi antenna, but uh, that's not for our class okay all right uh, that's it for this week